I think the chances of an infectious disease arising, spreading and wiping out humanity is very, very small. But it isn't zero. I'm Jeremy Farrer. I work in the Hospital for Tropical Diseases, uh, which is based in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and I've lived and worked there for the last 18 years, working on a range of infectious diseases, uh, including emerging infections, bird flu, SARS, uh, etc., as well as endemic infections, TB, malaria, etc. Infectious diseases remains a huge problem globally. 25% of the world's population will die of an infectious disease, and many cancers and other things which we are now troubled with actually have an origin in infectious diseases. So the study of infectious diseases, both at a public level and at an individual patient level, remains absolutely crucial, and outbreaks of uh, SARS, Ebola, uh, the coming of drug resistance is, is an example of, of why they remain crucial globally. Human beings and infectious diseases have grown up together through, through time and if you go back to the Middle Ages, the plague had an enormous impact on society. Uh, if we come back to the modern time now, HIV, uh, TB, malaria, influenza, SARS, these are all infectious diseases which have a tremendous global reach uh, and therefore they're going to need a global solution. So my interests particularly are in some of the emerging diseases and trying to both mitigate and prevent those becoming uh, truly catastrophic events. We're in a phenomenally exciting time um, because for the first time in I think history you, you've had a combination of political will I think uh, certainly the coming of funding and the technology and we can't leave technology out of this that has given us the opportunity to truly turn back diseases so take malaria for instance we've made an enormous impact on malaria in the last decade through some very uh, uh, important discoveries, bed nets, drugs, better diagnostics, and the political will to implement those. And, and in a sense, that's a model for where we should be going across infectious diseases. And I think it's a, it's a fantastic time to be involved in uh, infectious diseases globally. I'm an eternal optimist, and, and I've lived through and been very close to SARS, uh, bird flu, H5N1. Um, I don't think the world is about to um, the humanity is about to be lost to some infectious diseases. No, I think that's far-fetched. Uh, but the chance of that happening is not zero. And therefore, there is a small chance, but with a potentially dreadful impact, then I think it behoves us to take it seriously. Because the event could be terrible, uh, even if contained. And therefore, research and political will has to exist uh, in order to uh, reduce the risk of that. Epidemics come and they go, and of course the Western world uh, gets worried about them and they watch Contagion and other such films and they're worried about bird flu and uh, swine flu and other such things. The reality is that these sorts of epidemics are going on every day somewhere in the world, uh, whether it's Ebola in sub-Saharan Africa or something in Southeast Asia at the moment which is causing hundreds of thousands of cases, something called hand, foot and mouth disease, which is a relatively uh, small infection here in the West but could could spread globally. Um, I think it's not less important about what the individual infections are and more an awareness that I could be in Asia yesterday and London today and that increased travel and movement of people is changing the way in which infectious diseases can spread and therefore London, Geneva, Washington can no longer uh, forget it or wash its hands of it and therefore the community cannot uh, do that. So I think the smaller the world is, the more important we have to take this jointly together. There are moments in history, I think, when, when you can make a huge difference. And, and I think we're in one of those moments now. We've never had the ability, uh, technologically, scientifically, to do some of the things we can do now. And I think if, as long as we marry that with an inquisitive mind and we ask the right questions, there is also the support politically and through philanthropic agencies uh, that we could make a real difference. And I think that coming together of those different partners gives us a unique opportunity in history to actually make a huge difference. And, and that's why I feel so positive about the future.